Hello everyone. Uh, so again today I am here with a uh, new video uh, from geomorphology part and today I am going to explain about uh, plate tectonic theory. So already uh, I have explained continental drift theory and so there are two theory one is continental drift theory and one is plate tectonic theory. So uh, today I am going to explain about the plate tectonic theories. What is plate tectonic theory? That the word tectonic is derived from Greek word that is tecton. Um, that uh, it is uh, derived from Greek word that is tecton and uh, tecton means builder uh, applied to all internal force which build up or from the fuser of the crust uh, including both diastrophism and volcanicity. So um, tectonic that is plate tectonic that is from that tectonic is derived from a Greek word that is the two word diastrophism and volcanicity which means that the uh, it is applied to all the internal force which uh, build up or from the fuser of the crust. Our earth crust is continuously made of and so it is the uh, force builder applied to all internal force which build the uh, which help to build the fuser of the crust okay then the discoveries of the 60s that is uh, supporting the continental drift have given birth to a new concept and it is a called uh, plate tectonic so um, with the supporting of continental drift theory a new concept arrived and it is the plate tectonic theories what happened mm -hmm. tectonic simply means uh, the study of rock structure and involve in art movement so it it means the study of rock structure what are the different types of rock structure involved and it is a um, it involved in art movement because our art is moving so it is built on art movement so what are the characteristics of rock structure it involved here then the continental drift assume that the continent plough through uh, the continent plough through the ocean and uh, like massive ships so our continent is Bluff that is moving through the ocean like massive ships then the plate tectonic tell us what uh, this plate tectonic tell us the plate tectonic tell us that it is not only uh, the continent that are in motion uh, it is not only our so many continents are we have na? six continents so uh, it is not only the continent that are in motion but also ocean as well as so in plate tectonic theory explain that the it is not only the plates are moving but also the uh, continent sorry it is not only the continents are moving but also plates are moving okay so um, uh, uh, this is so why these plates are moving because uh, the top crust of the earth is not an unbroken cell uh, unbroken cell of granite because uh, already explained that our crust is made up of somehow granite so this is so because the top crust of the earth is not only an um, unbroken cell of granite and basalt but also uh, a massive uh, mosaic of uh, several rigid segment how do you mean by rigid it's a rough a rigid segments called plates because plates are uh, not so soft they are very hard so rigid sets uh, uh, rigid uh, set my rigid uh, it is a rigid plates so these are um, just it is these are called our plates that are in our uh, are related to art movement so now these plates include not only the art solid upper crust but also uh, the part of the dancer mantle below so it is not only the rigid uh, not only the uh, uh, solid upper crust but also a part of dancer metal be mental below because uh, in our art crust mantle core three layers are here, there so uh, in our art surface we, um, we, we i am at i will going to attach the picture of that um, uh, 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 that is the three mental layer is there that is uh, granite the, that is the um, mental layer that okay I'm going to attach the picture of here then what happened they have an average thickness of 100 kilometer they up to extend up to 100 kilometer they float on the plastics upper mantle uh, upper mantle of the art called asthenosphere so layers are there uh, those layer which are uh, extended up to uh, 100 kilometer and they float on the plastics upper mantle of the art called asthenosphere asthenosphere is a uh, very uh, hot layer okay 
then um, it is it is it is carry water also then um, and carry the continent and oceans and on their bricks like uh, rough uh, rocks all these plates are in um, in constant motion already we know that plates are in constant motion and uh, relative to one another they are attached to one another and uh, what happened at the rate of 20 centimeter a year in a year they are uh, moving 20 centimeter it's a very um, uh, huge uh, it is a very slow process and in a year um, the 20 centimeter they are moving okay then the continent do not only draft or move uh, it is the plate containing uh, both continent and ocean data move it means that the not only continent that uh, asia europe africa these are continent so they are not only alone they are not moving but also the um, plates are moving and this both continent ocean that's why they are in a uh, moving state so this is a um, theory of plate tectonic it is an interesting theory that uh, how our um, earth crust our earth surface is acting inside of our earth uh, surface uh, how plates are move uh, how uh, some plates are moving equal, uh, equal to one another some are departure to one another and these are our related to the um, theory of plate tectonic and uh, the, from this must form um, plate tectonic theory and uh, okay i'm going to uh, i'm going to give in this way video related from our geomorphology part because i have given video continuously in this um, geomorphology part from two three weeks so please subscribe to my channel and thank you so much and uh, bye bye take care